All right, hey guys, me again, you know who I am, and today I'm here to talk about my Umbra Avara build. Now, what exactly is my Umbra Avara build? Well, it's basically a fun little navigator build I made back in January, except I've updated it to make it even even stronger than it already is. Now, I also made a separate Avara with the spare Avara parts I had lying around, uh, so I wouldn't ruin my original Avara. I was actually using Umbra mods on the original Avara, but I didn't like having to lower ranks of other mods just to fit the Umbra mods there, and it just it just felt a little weird, so I decided to make an Avara dedicated to this build. Now, if you want a, a non-Umbra version of this build i'll put a link or a card for that build in the description and at the end of the video now this setup isn't exactly solo friendly but in a, in a public squad setting most of the time you're going to come out with top damage top kills and the least damage taken so the way this build works is so i go out into the plains or any other open world space so i'm definitely gonna be using this in fortune when that comes out but I shoot the lens from really far away and I use navigator to guide my arrows to where I want it to go, basically dropping fucking predator missiles on the enemies from really far away. And since I'm really far away from the action, you're probably wondering, well, how am I going to get ammo? And that's where my companion of choice comes in, which is Hestia, my Sahasta Kubro. And she digs up ammo and energy for me. So it alleviates the massive energy drain of Navigator and Prowl put together. And it also feeds me infinite ammo for the lens so I don't actually have to move. It's wonderful. Now Hestia can also heal me if I'm low on health by giving me health orbs. So that's also nice. And that's generally the general gist of the build. I am using other weapons like the Lex Prime here. It's a silent Lex Prime. And I'm experimenting with the secondary slot because I originally had the Arcosisco in here. But I swapped over to Lex Prime because I'm uh, mainly once that Corpus Revolver comes out in Fortuna, I'm gonna swap this for that. And basically, this is gonna be dealing with uh, the flying Durgans in the plains. And the Redeemer here is just a quick knockback that also heals my companion. But I've put Forma on my companion here too, so that now she's actually capable capable of self defense. Originally, uh. Hestia here, while she did her job very well, anytime she got she aggroed an enemy, she was doing damage, but like not a whole lot of damage to where she'd just kind of be it became my job to kill the enemy that she was fighting, otherwise I wasn't gonna get energy or ammo back. Uh now that's not the case anymore, and she's actually capable of self-defense. So that's wonderful. Now onto the build. So I have four former on my Avara here, and I have my three Umbro mods and you're probably thinking right off the bat that these EHP increasing mods, you know, the ones that increase my health shields and armor are probably useless, but with these three mods put together, I can actually survive a level 155 bombard rocket with just this. And on top of that, the extra shields and the health I get make it so that I can actually revive someone uh, in the crossfire. Say if someone goes down and they're really close to me, I can just go over there and pick them up. And it's not a big deal and I won't actually die from it. So I can actually revive people now with this. Uh, so that's wonderful. Also, I have my power strength from the Umbrella Intensify. I have a little bit of duration uh, from Augur Message, uh, max efficiency. And I have more duration from Comprime Continuity. And the reason I have I want to have positive duration and efficiency uh, in this case, in particular, I don't want to go negative, uh, unlike other toggle builds, is because I want to be able to use, say, sleep arrows and other stuff like that. And uh, this lets me do that. And on top of that, I need to have the the drain as low as it, it can possibly go, because the drain on Navigator is brutal, even with max efficiency. With this and the dog put together, it makes it much more manageable. And as for Arcanes here, Arcanes are really up to you. I have Arcane Guardian here. Uh, to give me a little more armor so I can, you know, survive a little bit longer when I'm, say, reviving someone or something along those lines. And I've Arcane Ener Energize simply because the dog gives me energy orbs, so I can benefit from that. Now, you could probably put Arcane Grace here, uh, and that would also work really well, too, uh, because Arcane Energize, because dog can gives you health orbs and energy orbs, so you can doubly benefit from that. And, of course, I have my aura been changed to Steel Fiber because it's what I can fit. It's the only thing I can really fit on here with the Umber mods. I didn't go for an Exilus uh, mod because, like, I didn't really need it, I felt, on Avar. I originally had Streamline Form here, but it turns out that's not... It didn't do what I thought it did, uh, so I ended up taking it out and replacing that with Redirection. Now, my lens build is pretty simple. It's a, basically a hybrid build, uh, but instead of having 100 munitions here, I have Vile Acceleration here because the charge time on this bad boy is really slow. And I went for Moldmore Multishot over Slash Procs simply because... 
I wanted more arrows so, so I can cover more ground. Uh, and then Lux Prime here is just standard hybrid build, but instead of having Augur Pact, I have Suppress. My Redeemer build hasn't really changed much. It's a Condition Overload status build with Life Strike. Though I don't really need this anymore because I don't really take much damage. And Hestia's build. So I slapped five Forma on Hestia. You do not need any Forma for this build to work at all. All you need is a reactor for your Sahasa Kubro and you can just slap this on there and that would be totally fine. But I decided I wanna have my dog to be able to defend herself as well so I'm not all babysitting her and her aggro levels all the time. Uh, but even then that's totally fine. So what I have here is I have my health and shields link because I'm using redirection and umbral vitality. A dig is first priority. So in case you don't know, companions have a priority system. Uh, where the first slot here uh, takes first priority over any other precepts, and any other precepts after this take uh, another priority. So, for instance, in this slot here, this would be slot priority slot two. And if I put a uh, precept in this slot here, this will be priority number ten, so last priority. Okay. Other than that, I have healing mods. So I heal the dog with melee. The dog heals me with melee, and the dog also has health regeneration and a long ass bleed out time, as well as my damage and loot radar. It's a very fun setup, and if you're bored or something like that, I recommend you give it a try. But other than that, I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.